Day 12. Today is a day of breakthroughs. In the first, I have found and booked the last unspoken for performance venue in the LA area. It gets better. It's been a little too tricky, even for me, to convert some of Coward's masterfully witty dialogue to a one-woman format, so I broke down and wrote another actor into the play. Purely as a straight man, you understand her deadpan is flawless, so that's all settled. It's as though all the creative gears are finally meshing and revving up the engines of my vision. Only one thing is missing to really kick this whole thing into gear. This is David Elzer. He's a star of the publicity world. He may have broken into the elite world of PR and marketing through his work with Paramount Classics, Trimark Pictures, and 20th Century Fox, but these days, his specialty is the Los Angeles theater scene. This is the man who worked for the Lion King at the Pantages, the Marvelous Wonderettes at the El Portal Forum in North Hollywood, and as of late, he does publicity for the Antia's Company. And with only a few days left to go until showtime, I can't waste any... Uh, <clears throat> miss, hmm? I... I'm sorry, I was, um, thinking. Anyway, you were saying? What I don't understand, Miss. Ms., if you don't mind. Ms. Wilde, well, I think you have quite a, um, uh, performance here. I don't think it would be in the best interest of my clients to represent you. I'm sorry, I, I don't think I thought... I don't think it would be beneficial to my professional reputation and, um, for my relationship with Antias to represent a competing, uh, company... Um, and so I, you know, have maybe some other publicists I can recommend that you should have. No, I chose you, Mr. Elzer, because you are in the unique position of knowing, well, being fully aware of the potentially catastrophic decline in quality the Antias company may be facing, and furthermore, knowing exactly what needs to be done to fix it. This isn't a smear campaign, is that what you were thinking? Well, it's... I am trying to help the Antias company, Mr. Elzer. That's all this has ever been about. They're good. They have a lot of great stuff going on, some wonderful potential, but they fail in execution, and frankly, it comes from an underappreciation of their actors. Really? Because I only understood them to be absolutely fantastic to their actors. <laughs> um, I mean, uh, I've only heard glowing things. Like so what? Well, that, uh, like their new campaign. I mean, I hear that Antius is a home. I mean, that's the word that comes up most often, Ms. Wilde. A home. Well, it's artist... clearly a dysfunctional one, Mr. Elzer. I mean, if you had only seen the things I've seen. Like what? Jeannie doesn't know my name. She constantly refers to me as Abigail, and that is not my name. I mean, it is, but it's not. Professionally speaking, I am Abby Wilde, and she should respect that. I mean, she goes by Jeannie. What does that come from? Jean, Janine, Iphigenia. Can we sue? Excuse me. Sue, you're kind of a lawyer, right? No, I'm not. Yes, you no. are. Yes, you are. No. Can't we, we sue. Defamation of character. Libel. <gasps> that can be our campaign. Antius. It's a halfway house for convicted criminals. I'm sorry. Hello? Oh. What do you mean, your property? Well, yes, of course I know it's behind your theater, but... Can't we share? Police. I have to go. But listen, let's come back to this. I really like your ideas.